The wave inside my soul carries all I know. Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to the next installment of Forbidden West. So, in our last heroic adventure, we were down in the island area of San Francisco, deep within Thieves' City of the Living. And we were looking for secrets to uncover within Pharaoh's tomb, Ted Pharaoh, that is. You know, we speak in all Egyptian here, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, this uh, guy from the Quinn, I'm guessing he was like the leader. They called him the CEO. He was supposedly a descendant of Pharaoh, thought that he was the rightful one to uncover the secrets locked within. He turned out to be an asshole, and luckily he deserved a death that was brought upon him. And um, we were able to progress a little more in order for us to actually get ourselves to Gemini. So Gemini is the next mainline story mission, but what we're going to focus on today is Zoe is asking us, <laughs> asking us about uh, this mission to do with the land god. So that's what we're going to take care of now. So let's dive into this and see exactly what these machines are up to over here. We could have already started the battle, but no, you had to do your little recap. Why don't you get into playing the game and be quiet? I don't remember if they're fully unlocked yet or not. Yes, they are. Let's do it. Here we go, guys. The silent strike. Oh, no. The next one and the plow horn. That's what I'm aiming for. No. I didn't dodge in time. Gave him a slap in the face for this disrespecting us like that. This one's nearly done. We got the tanks below. I got the boost. There we go, buddy. Come on through. Oh wait, hold on. Come on, come down this way. You know you wanna. Look at him holding his ground. Oh, you you messed up. You messed up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna- Oh, shoot! Wow, they are like really coming on over to us.
go the horn. Oh no, it did not like that. There goes another one. All right, we got one more horn to take care of. We're gonna come on over to this one, do some damage. Ricocheted a few. I don't think it did much though. There we go. Oh no! Okay, that one's still alive. Now, I don't know where its weapons are. Actually, gotta watch out for that one. That one got us, though. I'm trying to be strategic a little bit and just take off if it take off its uh its horns. Let me try this again. I don't think I hit it that time. Oh no, there's the other one! Couldn't dodge in time. Oh no! Better hail. Well, it's too late. I don't need it. There goes that one. It's not liking me right now. Oh, it did like some back end stuff. You know, they've really lunged in at you where it is really like, it is really hard to, uh, it's really hard to anticipate what they're going to do. Oh, shoot. We got out of that one. See, every time, every time I feel like I try to grab their weapons, that just, that happens to me. I just, I feel like I can't get a, I can't get, like, a clean grab on it. Eh! Oh, man, I was wondering when you were going to die. Okay. This one's still alive over here. Let's take them. <laughs> what are they gonna do next? Of 
course I can't hit him. Oh. She wants to climb. I don't I don't want to climb. Okay. We did it. You okay? A bit Ooh, winded. Okay. But I'll be alright. You've got the control cores? I can Yes, we do. Wow. Let's grab what we can grab real quick. That definitely took longer than what it should. How long did that take? Okay. <laughs> Dang. If I would have been aware of this Ravager, I would have definitely taken that too. That's the cluster launcher. The Sky Ripper. We wanted their, uh, we wanted their Razor Tail, but I'm telling you, it, it's Aloy, really hard. Here. I'll take the course. It's really hard to think about these things when you just really are like in the midst of everything. When I'm just like really in the midst of fighting, it is really hard to think. Sometimes I kind of feel like you really try to cater to your instincts, what you're used to. Uh, you know, when it comes to Horizon, I think what I'm used to the most is just setting traps every now and then shooting i am still i still need to get it in my head that i need to learn how to use like smoke bombs so i can disorient the enemies get myself away allow myself to regroup and and whatnot i still have not found a medium to be able to utilize that so it helps me efficiently Instead, sometimes I feel like I run around, dodge, and I do the same things over and over. I kind of want to di diversify things a little bit to make these battles feel uh, boring, uh, more engaging, more entertaining. Two control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child... There was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. You're welcome. I do what I can. So we'll probably sort through those cores in no time. I should check up on her when I get the chance. Okay, so it is back to base. <laughs> okay, what are we doing? Hello, everybody. Everybody's got explanation marks above them. The I've been ignoring them. <laughs> His people invented the game. What did you expect? Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro oh, yeah. gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. Mm. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alba. Oh, before I forget, I'd like to discuss the land gods again, if you have time. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss what she wants us to discuss with the land guys. Yeah, the uh, as far as like the training and the champions, I don't think that's anything that we're really gonna focus on right now. Let's just talk to her about the land gods. Any progress with your plan for the land gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is, but there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the land gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in Plainsong, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, 
We know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Doe ventured into a dangerous canyon, and hmm. T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Doe. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so... I promise. Okay, so I just say farewell? I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Okay, cool. Alright, so, uh, if y'all had noticed there, I actually had my camera facing the other direction. So, it kind of looked like I was not really paying attention to the gameplay, if you know what I'm talking about. But, my eyesight is right on Aloy now, so we're all good to go. I, I was thinking of different different areas where I could put the camera. Just like I said, I, I'll be playing around with it a little bit. I kind of feel like this is a nice spot. The only thing that it covers up is just this right here and maybe a few times, you know, with some side uh, or with some cinematic <sighs> cutscenes and whatnot. So let's see what we got here. We are going to head here first. Unknown grazers! Let's discover them real quick. Plain song, River Him. The grazers are just right, right beyond us. And the claw strider. Okay. We discovered them. We can go back over this way now. Yeah, it has to do with the metal flower. Let's go down! Ooh, okay. This must be the shrine for the land ah. of Doe. Hmm. Must be past those vines. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Past those vines now. Let's take a look. I'm up to that land, God. I just saw an option for us. There. Oh, it's up here. It looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. Well, we know but what we gotta do. There's vines. There's a metal flower. I just have to find it. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. See, there's one there, too. I have to find a way up there. Yeah. Let's go to this one real quick. Oh, come on. I'm trying to do our super jump. I'll save this for a dire. We'll pick that up, you know? Okay. Why does she, like, get there? What is going on there? There we go. Should be able to access that cave now. Okay, let's go inside. Uh... Okay, there we go. Treadwing carcass. Ooh. It must have dropped the flowers and then crashed. <laughs> Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. Yeah, let's grab this real quick, can we? Can we? Uh, wait. Oh, wait. 
There we go. It'll be down for, there for us at another at another time. So you know, I wasn't really really listening to what she was saying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Like at first, I, I was kind of just baffled at w which direction I should go. Should a diner would be interested in this. Yeah. No, I just need to get rid of these vines. Come here. Okay. That's better. Time to get this code installed. That was a close one! You about really messed up, Aloy. One down, two to go. All right, on to Zoe? the next location. You there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I'll head to Plain Song and deliver the code to the land gods there. Here we go. There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Yeah, hey guys, we're going under. Is that a snot mall? I think the land god is under my control. I gotta stay away from that snot mall. I don't know what she just said about the snap. I wasn't even paying attention. This should help me get back on track. Back Yay! Out. You're gonna be free soon, I promise. I think I just swam right past the snap ball, didn't even see us. Okay. Onward to our next location. Another line got dealt with. Hey, Zo. Aloy, how goes it? Had to swim a bit, but I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest. With wine made from elderflowers. When I was twelve, I got tipsy on it and kissed a boy in the sage garden. How'd that go? He was so surprised he nearly fell into the mulch. It would be good to see so again. Plowing the fields in the afternoon sun. How are things on your end? Getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. All righty, here we go. And the tall neck is walking his path like I usually do in the distance there. And we're getting a great look at the mountain area and the snow vistas in the distance. Okay. Is that a blue jay? You better get on out of here! I don't want you to get hurt! The machines are vicious around here! 
I'll need some time to handle them, to tame them, to turn them over to the good side once more. Unknown shelter. Two dead Utaru and a land god shrine. So I've said this one broke down amidst a herd of machines. I better be careful. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something fried them. Whatever did it might still be around. Okay. There's the That's land god. But I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. Then I could shoot off that heavy weapon and use it. It's got a glow blast canister. Do I have that weapon out? Okay, I do. trying to kind of take a look at the area to see if there's any machine I can possibly override. Because I have an idea of trying something real quick. Should have tagged the Ravenger when I had a chance. I'm not sure where it is now. I don't see it at all. There it is. Let them take it for a little bit. How would you see me? I think I totally uh, used the wrong arrow too. I wanted to use the uh, wanted to use this one. No, it's still not choosing the right one. There. He's over here! Come locate him! Ah! The Leaf Lashers are in play now! Get him out of there! Tried to climb, but I couldn't. We shot something off. He's running away. Cause you know what's about to be up. Okay, let's save it. He's dead anyway. Okay. Ah! Uh oh, here comes another one. You don't see me. Woo! Okay. I think that's all the machines. Time leave to lashers. Install this code on that land god. We're gonna leave them alone. We'll let them stay over there for a little bit. 
Ooh, there's plenty to search. Plenty to search and take. Thank you, my Ravager friend, for giving me such a valuable area of resources to extract and take for my own equipment-like purposes. Still got some ore over here. I'll tell you, another, another, another evasive move I really want to start learning how to do more is this. I've used it a few times, but I feel like more often than not, I just, I don't, I have Did a tendency to not this? use it. I definitely have a tendency to kind of just let it pass. Let's not even think about it. Okay, looks like we got everything. My friend, I'm going to make it all better for you. Uh-oh. The Stormbird returns! Oh. Holy moly. So, I have not faced a Stormbird yet in this game. I think this is actually our first time actually facing one. can we do here? Okay. Nah. See, the rope caster is something that I would benefit from. Let me go ahead and see if I can do something with it this time. I just, I won't be surprised if it doesn't if it doesn't work to what I'm thinking, uh, how I'm thinking it can. Oh, shoot. You know what happens when they be doing that. Hey, almost. It broke. Really? Alright, this is gonna be difficult. I just don't feel like the rope cast is really gonna do much much good for me. Just bring it back down to the ground again. <laughs> One. I died. Like we missed. 
best. I have no idea what he's doing. I'll try the rope caster again. I think I need at least five of them now. Dodged too soon on that one. Okay, there we go. Come on, man. Trying to get it to turn around. I don't think that was good enough. We don't have any more of it either. I'm kind of afraid to grab anything right now. <laughs> Now wait, where did I see that? Okay. We dodged it! Lost the point on its on its head. No, it's still there. It's not there anymore. Wow, I did not want to grab onto that. <laughs> what's it, what's it got left? Okay. Okay, it's down. But am I going to get to it in time? Nope. <laughs> Best we can do is just throw it back into chaos. Whoa, where's it going? This thing is just flying all over the place.
I don't think I get hit it from there. I could not even see. <laughs> it it'll do that on you too, where it goes str all, like all the way up in the air, and you got to be able to time that, man. It's got a purge water canister. On down in the purge water. No. <laughs> oh no, that, that was a perfect shot right there. Stormbird, like I said, man, it is a tricky challenge. Um, I don't even think they stay down. It's always good to have extra. They don't even stay down very long once you once you put the uh, once you put the rope caster on them. They stay down much longer. I should install this code on that land god. I want to say they stay down probably about two to three, maybe about almost four to five, more to four to five seconds longer when you use the. Uh, if you're you're playing Horizon Zero Dawn using the rope caster on them for sure. I want to grab these parts without alerting them. Nobody's over here. Yeah, that was one heck of a battle. Hey, you. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. That's the last land god. Zo, can you hear me? I can hear you, Aloy. I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude, and all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow, made of you, strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone retrieves their seed pouches, so they may return to the land. When you can. Meet me at Plainsong, and we'll send out the reboot signal. I've delivered the code to all the land gods, save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. We're gonna fix you up soon. All of you, I promise. Oh no, we gotta step into the blight. Hold on, it's gonna hurt. So's back. Aloy, you made it. All of the land gods have been updated. Now to send out the reboot signal.
there. See. <laughs> See. What does this mean? A new beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. So, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. We can barely hear what they're saying because this dude's singing in the background. <laughs> Well done, everybody. Oh, wow, they got they all have like their little LED signals singing in unison, are we? Get out of the blight, Aloy, you're taking damage. Aloy, get out of it. Okay, guys, that was a nice little mission to, uh, to saving the, uh, the land gods. They're finally feeling themselves again. And we'll be able to move on to the next adventure that awaits us. So if you guys enjoyed this little side mission of our rescue of the land gods, the uh, Stormbird was definitely a fun and challenging experience. And uh, I'm sure that we'll be looking forward to more of that in the future. Just make sure to stay connected to the channel. And if you enjoyed how I am trying to improve at my combat in my ways of being diverse and making this game as entertaining as possible you can put a like on the video because it always helps with the engagement of the channel and if you would like to throw a comment down below anything horizon related you know any challenges you guys are getting into, anything about the game that you want to discuss, you can make sure to put that on down there. We can talk about it for however long that you would like to talk about it for. And I will be leaving you all until the next mission is ready to go as the sun is arising to our east. Appreciate it, guys. This is Devin, and I will catch you next time.